Hi guys, Chef Ryan here in the Growing Chefs Ontario classroom kitchen. And for this recipe, I'm going to be showing you how to make chocolate covered pretzels. These chocolate covered pretzels are the perfect combination of sweet and salty. They make a great gift or even a snack for yourself. So let's take a look at everything you'll need for this recipe. To start my chocolate covered pretzels, I'm going to chop up the chocolate. Chocolate can be a bit tricky to chop through, so I'm using a chef's knife today. It doesn't have to be neat or pretty, we just want to break up the chocolate so that it melts faster. After I chop up my chocolate, I'm going to put it into my large glass bowl that will fit nicely on top of one of my pots. I'll do the same thing to my milk chocolate. I'm using both white and dark chocolate today, but if you don't like one of them, or you only have one, you can just stick with one type. So now I can put this chocolate in my second bowl and then clean up my cutting board. So to melt our chocolate for these chocolate covered pretzels, we're using something that's called a double boiler. So I have two pots set up here with about two centimeters of water inside the pot on a very low heat. I placed my glass bowls on top of the pots with the chocolate inside and I'm just going to slowly melt the chocolate down to a smooth consistency. Chocolate is very temperamental. You want to make sure that you don't heat your chocolate too quickly or it will get lumpy and turn hard on you. You'll also want to make sure that you don't get any water into your chocolate because it will get lumpy and hard. While my chocolate's melting, I'm going to get everything else set up. So I have a baking sheet lined with some parchment paper. That way, when I dip my pretzels into the chocolate, I can transfer them right to my baking sheet and they won't stick to the baking sheet. I also have some garnishes set up. You can use whatever you like. I have some chopped dried cranberries, some chopped nuts, and some shredded coconut, but you can use whatever you like. I also have some more flaky salt, just in case it needs another little salty bite to it. When you're stirring your chocolate, make sure you use a dish towel or an oven mitt to hang on to the sides of the glass bowl in case it gets a little bit too hot or some steam might escape from the side of the pot. Once your chocolate is completely melted and smooth, it's time to start dipping your pretzels. So I'm going to just dip my pretzels one at a time, and then using two forks, I'm going to move the pretzel around in the chocolate till it's completely coated, and then fish it out, sort of shake off any of the excess, and then transfer it to my baking sheet. Now you can leave your pretzels just like this or you can start to add your garnishes. You'll want to add your garnishes though before your chocolate hardens. So I've got some chopped up pieces of cranberry that I will sprinkle on to my white chocolate pretzels, some shredded coconut, some flaky salt, or some chopped nuts. If you want to get really fancy with your pretzels, you can even make them two-toned by drizzling some dark chocolate over the white chocolate. Keep dipping your pretzels until you run out of pretzels or chocolate. Let them dry in an undisturbed place until the chocolate has completely hardened. Then it's time to enjoy. I'm Chef Ryan from Growing Chefs Ontario and I hope you like my chocolate-covered pretzels.